So if you could, just tell me what the architectural punch bowl is. Right, well for the architectural punch bowl, us, Bompson Park, Vosier, are flooding buildings with booze and creating, turning them into a punch bowl that's so big you can actually boat across it before dipping your glass in and having a drink. There are a number of quite tricky issues that you've got to manage. Um, one is buildings aren't meant to be flooded with alcohol. Um, and for this, we've actually engaged in a six month um, uh, knowledge transfer partnership with the Bartlett School of Architecture, working out how can you do it. Um, so we work, work with um, Nick Westby there. I was brought onto the project as the architect to deal with uh, essentially making a structure which we could uh, assemble in the venue in just two days, which is our get-in period. The build is going on here at the Bartlett Courtyard, where we're using the facilities, and we're creating quite a large, large construction. Well, here you see um, some of the modules that are going to make up the substructure of the, of the punch bowl. Um, we've essentially got uh, roughly 25 pieces that all fit together. At Bombs and Park, we've got a really long history of, of working with UCL. I was at UCL, Harry was at the Bartlett studying architecture. And UCL is just, uh, there's just so much knowledge and expertise there that it, it'd be ridiculous not to, not to tap into it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a really, really valuable contact for us and we're, we're you know, proud to be alumni. There's some interesting historic precedent for this where uh, basically in, in 1694, a British Admiral, Edward Russell, hosted a party for 6,000 people and uh, he filled up a punch bowl, a vast fountain, in fact, with punch, and, uh, which was served out by a small child rowing back and forth across it. Now, his punch served 6,000 people, ours can serve 25,000 people. We've got over four tonnes of punch, um, the actual punch bowl itself is going to be 48 metres squared, so it is huge, it's really, really large. It is leaking the door, tiny I had a time at, at the Bartlett to you know, just test some of the structure, and um, brilliantly, um, Alex James was able to come on board and we were able to get some shots of him in one of our prototypes. That's quite a strong one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's sort of looking at the camera, but you're leaning into that far corner a bit. What was his interest in it then? Was he... Come on, how can you, how can you not be interested? You're, we're flooding a building with alcohol. Like, you know, and he was... Alex is obviously a great uh, food person. He's eaten the best restaurants all over the world. He's got his own cheese farm. Um, so, you know, when, when he heard that we were doing this, he was, he was very, very keen to get involved. The building is not in the best of health. And when we first started looking at it uh, as a site for the punch bowl, and I started doing some uh, back of the envelope calculations, we realised we're dealing with five possibly more tonnes of liquid that we're putting in, plus the weight of the structure. Um, and this obviously started to keep some of us awake at night. The next um, difficulty is actually containing that liquid within the room and making sure that uh, uh, it's not going to leak. So the tank itself has a series of baffles around the edge to stop uh, any waves that uh, might come off the boat, which is floating on it, from uh, splashing up the sides of the wall. And a series of membranes, both containing the punch and also underneath the structure, make sure that we have sort of fail-safe method of both containing it and containing any leak that we might get. Here we're going to be making people that go in clean and they go in safe before they enter the main event, the punch bowl itself. As they walk through the butcher's slaps, they'll be surrounded by billows of dry ice and overwhelmed by the smell of the punch. A lucky chosen few will be able to boat across the punch on rafts while others can use their remote control garnishes and pilot them around while everyone's, everyone's drinking away with the Corvosier punch. Yeah. 
pretty tired now, but pretty happy. It's, uh, it's really fantastic to see it all. No, to see it all just come together. With this, we promised a lot. We said, look, we're going to flood a room with punch. Um, you're going to be able to row over it, then you're going to be able to drink it. Um, I think a lot of people that came along thought that we weren't going to be able to deliver it. And the thing is, it, it delivers in spades. Everyone's like, oh my god, this is, this is such a good drink. They really like the cocktail. Why do you do what you do? What, what drives you? Not as much as anything, it's, it's very, very interesting. It's always, it's always you know, a challenge to be surmounted, um, you know, a problem to be overcome. Um, and it's great just, just seeing, seeing how people react to it. It's just, it's just absolutely marvellous.